Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and right now we are gonna get to Pisces love reading. Sorry, Pisces, I've been doing some stuff. I had surgery on my arm. Um, that'll be another video, I think. But anyway, I've been going through some stuff. I've been doing some stuff. I've been healing. I've been working. I've been growing. I've been doing things. And as of right now, I am at the surgery today, so they put me um, they put me to sleep. So I'm still dealing with the after effects of the IV medications that they gave me to make me go nine nights. Yes, yes. All right. Sorry. Um, dealing with the new setup my bad so I've got some new things for you but I'm not gonna show you the new things till after I get your reading going so what's going on with Pisces and love what's going on with those lovely Pisces in love. Spirit. Pisces wants to know what's going on with them. Spirit, what's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces and their love life? Anything that has to do with love and Pisces. The Pisces collect in love. Okay, you're out of balance. Right now you're out of balance. You're out of balance and there's a postponement on your 10 of cups rushing. So it looks like you're having financial difficulties maybe. So you're not allowing the 10 of cups through or the balance to come through. Um, Listen, you have to know your worth before other people can see your worth. You have to know what you're worth before other people can see your worth. You give yourself value. You give yourself worth. Not anybody else. They don't they they can't determine your worth. They can't determine your value. They can't determine your growth. They can't determine what season of your life you're in. They can't determine who you talk to, where you go. It's not for other people to make these decisions in your life. It's just not, not for them. It's, it's your life, your life, Pisces. You make the decisions for yourself, all right? All right, Pisces. Come on, you bring balance to yourself. You are your own Ten of Cups. And stop worrying about monetary issues unless you necessarily absolutely have to. Like seriously, stop worrying and overthinking about things that are unnecessary for you to worry and think about. Stop it, stop it, please. And that is your gentle reminder from your tarot reader. You're on midnight messages. <laughs> See, again, again, with the temperance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Right now, you're out of balance. And you're bringing balance back into your life. You are bringing... Are you kidding me, the Ten of Cups again? You're getting double cards, like, all throughout this. Hold on. Yeah. The resolution of difficulties. 
a weight lifted off your shoulder, the end of an addiction or codependence. Pisces. Pisces, you are actually bringing yourself into balance. Slow down, grab the wall and wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall off. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Maybe it has something to do with you guys. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, slow down. Take your time. In your love life, slow down. Your Ten of Cups is on its way. You are bringing balance to yourself first. You are healing your inner self, your inner child, your shadow. You're doing your shadow work. You're healing. You're moving forward with your life. There might have been some really, really messed up stuff that happened recently to you. And you know what, Pisces? It's okay. I've been through shitty shit before. I've seen shitty shit before in the cards. Sometimes shitty shit is just shitty shit, but you're not going through shitty shit anymore. You're healing, you're growing, you're developing, you're evolving, you're ascending, you're leveling up, you're having your glow up, you're in your season. Or your season is coming really fast really, really fast. Your season is coming. Inspiration. And yeah. Use your inspiration to create manifestations in your life. Use your inspiration. Use your intuition. Use your guidance. Use your intuitive guidance system to help you manifest. Use your internal intuitive guidance system as well as your spirit guidance team. These things are integral to each human being on this planet right now. We all have an internal guidance system and a spiritual guidance team. These people are like our soul family and our spirit guides and all of these beings that are resonating with us on this planet right now to help us develop ourselves to a higher level of consciousness so that way we are no longer worried about the material world and we are able to basically manifest what we want yeah it's it's like going from not believing in ourselves to believing we are co-creators of our reality and we conspire with the divine to create the lives that we want not the lives that we have so that being said you're manifesting you have inspiration you are bringing upon these amazing talents and gifts and share them with the world you're in a beautiful energy right now and I have to say it's looking pretty sweet. Your Ten of Cups is on its way. You're bringing balance to yourself and the people around you right now. And it's a beautiful energy. It really is. And I'm glad that you are sharing it with me. So that way I can do a reading on you. See, energy is getting momentum. Step out of your comfort zone. It's time to take action. Believe in the impossible. Believe that your manifestations can happen. Take the actions necessary on your part to develop the skills needed to call those manifestations into your reality. Do what you need to do. Step out of your comfort zone if you have to. Call those manifestations to you. You deserve love. You deserve the love, the care, the kindness that you're looking for, that you give. You deserve everything you give out. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You deserve every single thing that you give to the world.
trying to figure out what cards I want to use next. My grandson was over and he likes Mima's cards. My grandson was over, Lucas was here, and he likes Mima's cards. So Mima has given up and given him the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck that I have. When he comes over, that's his deck. He can play with it, he can do whatever he needs to do with that tarot deck because he loves the pictures on the cards, he loves to play with them, so he's got a deck at me plus. <laughs> Alright, what's going on with Pisces love life? I need some, you need to clarify some of this. Ten of Cups twice, Temperance twice. What is going on? Yep, it's it's time. You're ready. You're ripe. Mm, let go of those control issues. Seriously, let go of the control. Surrender to the divine timing that is your life. If your love, season of love has not popped off yet, it's about to. Believe in true love. Believe in the impossible. Believe in what nobody else believes in. Believe in what is unique to your spirit. Believe that miracles happen. Maybe take some time, step back, do some meditation. Okay. Yeah, release. You are calling in vision. Have the courage to create a new vision, to manifest a new vision of love. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These all popped out. Have the courage to create the new vision to manifest your love. Your love is being manifested as of now. You're having a rebirth and you're participating in the dream. You're consciously calling in what you want right now. I mean, I can't, I can't make this any freaking clearer. I can't tell you Nope. Can't make it any clearer. It's it's not it's not possible. I I want I'm about to just end the reading right here cuz you're ma you're manifesting everything that you want is coming to you. You just have to slow down and let it. And believe. Believe that it's possible. Believe that it is completely possible for you. Believe that you have the power to co-create your reality with the universe just believe it yourself like i don't mean to like yell at you and i'm sorry but if you came here and you wanted some sugar-coated bullshit you're in the wrong place <laughs> you're you're not you're not meant to be here you're not you're not part of the tribe that is on this channel you you came here for sugar-coated bullshit you ain't gonna get it like seriously right now right now believe in yourself because your love life your greatest love your like supernatural divine partner is being manifested by you right now like as we speak and they're coming towards you like like a freight train like a freight train sorry excuse me i am still under the effects of the propofol and fentanyl they put in my IV to knock me out for the surgery let your friends help you listen to somebody else that you maybe normally wouldn't take advice from but listen and here's why I say this because sometimes the people you normally wouldn't take advice from are the people that have the best advice it sounds funny but if you're contradictory to someone and you have different viewpoints they addictions are affecting your romantic life that's the second time we got something about codependency in this reading so you may be suffering from addictions or your person may be suffering from addictions 
and and listen there's no judgment here there is no judgment here i believe that every single person on this planet deserves love care kindness respect and dignity no matter what their choice is and and the only time that i don't give respect is if you have shown me time and time and time again that i give you respect and i get none back if i get no respect in return then it is karma karma that i respect myself and start giving myself the respect that i was giving you it's not that i'm going to disrespect you because i'm not going to say anything bad about you but listen pay attention to red see you got codependency pay attention to red flags and free yourself you may have an ex an ex or a situationship with an addict that has a shit ton of red flags, possibly cheated, possibly did all this shit to you. And you need to free yourself from this toxic, narcissistic, gaslighting energy. And I don't mean to, di I, I don't mean to say that because I am not a diagno diagnostician. I am in no way diagnosing anyone's mental health or disorders. I'm not qualified yet to do that. I'm not qualified yet to do that. It is not for me to do at this time. I'm not diagnosing, I am saying this person has narcissistic traits, gaslights you, and love bombs you. That's what I'm saying. Free yourself from this toxic crap hole. Free yourself from this toxic crap hole. Because if you don't, if you don't free yourself from this toxic piece of crap, you will not find peace. Yep. There's a storm coming and your emotions are brewing. They are brewing and you've hit a dead end with this person. You've hit a dead end. You're doing your shadow work and it may have something to do with poetry okay do your keep doing your shadow work write them poems keep doing your shadow work it is working like i said back to the beginning you are manifesting the love of your life just because you went through this crappy shit show with someone doesn't mean that that love is not coming in you just had to deal with some bullshit first and now your healthy loving partner is coming in it could be the shit show person changed up their energy because you have been leveling up you have been doing your inner work you have been healing your inner child and your your trauma you've been learning your triggers and healing them you've been working on your shadows you've been working on your fears you've been doing this and it's amazing that you are because most people don't have the wherewithal to look at themselves and say, hey, this isn't working in my life right now. I wanna change it. I wanna manifest something new. And then start taking action steps towards that manifestation instead of just sitting there and trying to wait for this magical thing to just pop into your life you're taking action steps by bettering yourself, by doing the things that you would want to do with that partner, by going for the hikes on your own, by doing things that you would want to do with your soul partner. You're calling that love in. You're loving yourself is calling that soul partnership into your life. Now, seriously, seriously, now I got a new set of cards. I got a new set of cards and I am in love with these. Like I am in la, 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 love with these, okay? Mm -mm, there ain't no way around it. I'm in love with these new cards. So, I can't believe this is coming all over that. Somehow vanilla ice cream got in my tarot card box. And luckily, 
these new cards had a pouch, so they did not get what is in my box all over them. So, new cards, loving them, I'm loving them. And we're, out, we're gonna read the page of the card that comes out from the guidebook of the Awakening Intuition Guidebook. So, give me a second. Give me a second, Pisces. These are new cards, they're relatively stiff, so I'm so sorry. So, all right, Pisces. And since they're stiff and they're a little bit larger for my hands, I'm going to cut them and pull one singular card. Rise above for eagle perspective. The eagle spirit animal invites you above the treetop so you can see the whole expansive forest. Create healthy distance from a person, group, issue, opinion, stance, emotion, or situation by viewing the broader perspective while gliding on the broad wingspan of the eagle. Enhance your intuition by contemplating the entire landscape and multi perspectives. And two, two. It's a, it, it's, it's 20, it's 22. It's, it's a, that's the card number. So give me one second. All right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Rise above the eagle perspective. Expanded meaning. Part of a strong, healthy intuition is being able to pull back with a wider angle lens to take a larger and various perspective to take in larger and various perspectives of an issue. While it can be valuable to anchor into your perspective or focus on one aspect of an issue, now is not the time. Like working on an intricate detail in a painting. Periodically, it pays to step back and take in the entire canvas. Being too narrow in your thinking now will limit your intuition and the possibilities are, or other points of view it wishes to show you. Practice healthy emotional detachment to enhance ego perspective and temporarily detach from your personal opinions, views, and desires. Avoid black and white either or thinking. Consider shades of gray as well as both and scenarios. Hold two seemingly contradictory truths in your mind at once, finding validity in both. Action steps. Don't narrow your focus or fixate on details. Entertain multiple possibilities and viewpoints, even competing ones. Work with the eagle spirit animal to encourage yourself to contemplate a more inclusive vantage like seeing all the elements and personality, personalities at play in a situation, seeing someone else's side of things, or seeing the big picture regarding a journey you're on. Use an image of an eagle as the screensaver on your phone or computer. Wear a t-shirt emblazoned with the image of an eagle. Listen to the eagle's distinctive call. Hold a feather in your hand or place one on your altar as a tactile reminder. Picture an eagle soaring in your mind as you meditate. Let your intuition glide high above the ground level view of things now. Taking a step back from a certain position on an issue is currently favored. This card can also indicate the need to rise above disputes or annoyances and see the value of a relationship, commitment, or project. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Have a blessed time. Thank you for coming to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy. If you caught my vibe, please subscribe, like, share, comment. We love all those things on this channel. And as always, happy co-creating with you.
Thank you. Peace.